Good morning, fans, privateer effects. Coming at you, Swiss National Bank, Bank of England Day. I tell you, I just went through the charts and intuitively, you look at the sterling Swiss chart, you look at the cable chart, you look at the dollar yen chart, um, and this doesn't really make any sense. But it looks like sterling yen is going to collapse today, just intuitively. There's no real, no real rhyme or reason to it. I mean, this chart uh, was a bit shocking to me. This sterling Swiss chart, obviously, dollar Swiss took a bit of a digger yesterday. Um, this Doji type deal here um, with cable wasn't what you would expect with such a super high uh, inflationary number out yesterday. You would expect this to make a higher high. It did not. It made a lower high and lower low. And then, oddly, uh, this picture here, again, dollar yen. We had Powell. We got through 25. I think with 36 was the high, 37. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Bobby, 141.74, and now all of a sudden, this sort of 141.20, the lows from Monday or Tuesday, yesterday, the lows were what, 37, um, our little stone skip away, I don't know, um, it's going to be volatile, that's for sure, I think implieds are like, Implied volatility today is fucking through the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. How would you trade um, sterling yen? Because implieds are so high, you can't really buy options. You don't want to really sell two calls to pay for your put. Um, you know. You could go back to the prehistoric, tried and true, eat what you kill, break trade, 179.92, um, or you can just trade to price action, right? So this is how it's gonna. This is how it's gonna go. Um, I think they're gonna raise 50. Um, most people think they're going to raise 25. It doesn't even matter. Obviously, if they don't raise, cable will just collapse, and you won't. They'll be. It'll be impossible to trade. First, you know, first hundred points. But that's not going to happen. They have to raise. Um, so, um, if they raise a quarter, I mean, I actually think that's better than raising 50 for sterling. Because if they raise 50, the knee jerk is higher. But the coming plague, the coming tsunami of default, of mortgage and credit card default, corporate real estate default, you know, UK cannot handle 6% rates. They just can't. They're leveraged. It's the typical Anglo-Saxon leveraged uh, community. Very few have hedged. Um, very, very few have hedged. And so what's good for sterling in the short term is really, really bad for sterling in the long term. So 50 is knee-jerk higher and then try and get short. 25 is unclear. 25 seems like stable, s stable policy, careful. Um, Maybe the global economy will will help reduce inflation in the UK. Um, but anyway, I don't know. Intuitively, sterling yen looks like it's going to shit the bed today. Uh, again, this is you cannot go into this thing short sterling yen, and just because I intuitively think something doesn't mean it's even remotely possibly going to be correct. Um, just like my intuitive thoughts about whether Trump could be president or whether Trump could go to jail or whether Lance Armstrong was taking drugs or whether Sam Bankman-Fried was a good guy. Got all of those wrong. All of them. 
some of them are pretty big, pretty, pretty, they're all pretty big calls, right? Like I'm an avid biker. Uh, and for years I believed in Lance. What the fuck is that? I'm a foreign exchange trader, and, and I thought Sam Bankman Freed was fucking money. Um, he ran a brokerage. So, my intuition on uh, sterling yen, just sharing it, um, giving you something to think about it. The other, oh yeah, one last little. Why is Euro Sterling doing this, right? Triple top here, 86.13. Feels like sterling's out of gas. Sterling Swiss, bearish engulfed. Euro sterling, bullish engulfed yesterday. Okay, sterling ends on its highs. Cable's kind of on its highs, but like it was kind of like a drunk stumbling high, right? Like, I'm not sure I, I know where I am, kind of a, kind of a high. Um, throwing a little crack cocaine in there. I really don't know where I am. Um, is that a drunk stumbling crack cocaine bar there? That little doji? I don't know. Anyway, um, what was the low there? 91. See, that's also like very, very important pivot, right? The high here, uh, on the sort of we have cleared cleared into a new high 126.98 hit 91 here 126.90 stop when all the dust clears to get short also doesn't look like such a terrible idea anyway let's see what else is out there stocks so fucking annoying right you know we got smoked. We didn't get smoked, but it was a painful day, the ECB day. Um, we traded up to 86. You know, we stopped out in the, seven, uh, you know, 71. And we stopped out at 61. So I guess we were short. We were short too early. But, you know, now it's 50 handles lower and it looks like it's going to drop into a black hole this is why most people don't succeed at trading they either get caught up in this shit um, or they don't leave a stop and they fuck themselves uh, but uh, you just have to laugh at it yeah it's you know there's a there's a dark dark comedy comedic aspect to trading um, and coming to grips with like being incredibly right but losing money um, <laughs> I tell you what, Albert Camus uh, and Edward Albee could write some good little literature about all of this. Anyway, uh, risk off. Where's Aussie Yen? That shit's... I guess that was a sell at 96.50. We had 96.80 offers in yesterday, didn't pay. Risk off, where's dollars are? 1836.30. We did put a little tepid bid in yesterday and did get given. Um, but it's, it's, um, it's important that you, you count this as a new trade, right? You can't just say we harvested 23 handles on Tuesday, and so now our average is 1782. Um, that that's going to get you into trouble. So this is a new trade. We got some longs here at, at a good little number, and you know now we're looking at this sort of. You can see all of these charts have these little pivoty daily pivots here. You saw the cable there. This one here as well. Let's call it 1850 up through 1850, um, and if we continue risk off. Dollars are uh, could get ugly. Today's Thursday. Um, let's see. Um, what else is out there as far as non-central bank stuff? Oh yeah, Pauli 
Pally's in front of the Senate again, but that'll be a repeat of yesterday. God, how painful was that? Those fucking senators are such morons. How do they get those jobs? Euro PMIs on Friday and uh, US dollar PMIs as well. Just thinking about, like, are we going to end this week with a massive 60 handle move up in S&Ps or are we going to end it with a massive 60 handle, massive with a 60 handle move down. Not super clear. Uh, looks down as of now, but uh, we'll have to see. Let's look at gold. This is a sucker boy. Um, again, we had 1905 bids down there. Nothing done, obviously. This is a weird one, right? She keeps wanting to go down, but doesn't want to close on the lows. Always a tail when when she has a when she has a down move. I think this is an accumulation for gold here because I think there's going to be a reckoning, and I hate to be like all the fucking dystopian. Everything's going to fucking zero, guys. I hate to jump on the Morgan Stanley bandwagon or the Ray Dalio fucking little rowboat, but um, I do think there's a reckoning, and. People are going to want gold uh, for this reckoning. There's a million ways to trade this. You know, you want to be long gold, good. Uh, you want to be long dollars are good. You want to be short Aussie yen, good. Um, you want to be short S and P's. That's probably the worst of the um, of these trades because the S and P has a sort of bullish alter ego life of its own. Um, and of those 500 stocks, a bunch of them can do just fine in a recession. Um, but anyway, gold didn't really like it down there. Here we are back at 30. Um, can't really buy 39s and leave uh, 1915 stop unless you're going to hold it for $200, which none of you are, so don't even bother. Uh, is this trend line going to give us some juice? I don't know. Or do we just wait? Do we just wait for 1985? Like we've been talking about this level now since it traded up there a million times. Just put it in your book. This this level is important. Obviously not for today. Anyway, I'm babbling on. Uh, quickly, the SNB. Euro Swiss looks bid. No idea why. Dollar Swiss looks offered. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this shit. I'm not trading it at all. Lived in Switzerland for close to 25 years now. Still have no fucking idea how to trade Swiss francs. So we'll stick with sterling today. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.